This is a quick summary of the cosmic distance ladder. As the name implies, the cosmic distance ladder is used to measure distances throughout the cosmos. The reason it is called a ladder is because each subsequent step built on calibration by the previous step. The bottom rung of the ladder starts with radar measurements. Specifically, we measured the distance to Venus by bouncing radio signals off of its surface and measuring the time of return. The rest of the solar system was then figured out by basic geometry. The next step of the ladder is stellar parallax. Because the Earth orbits the Sun, nearby stars will seem to shift relative to farther away stars throughout the year. This only works for stars no more than a few hundred light years away. But it does give us a distance measurement to nearby star clusters. Next is main sequence fitting, also known as spectroscopic parallax. If we know that stars belong to a star cluster, then we can construct an HR diagram for the cluster. By knowing the absolute brightness of a main sequence, we can establish the distance by comparing the apparent brightness of the main sequence of this cluster. There is an alternate standard candle at this step. A special type of star known as Cepheid variable varies its luminosity with a predictable period. The period of pulsation is directly proportional to their absolute luminosity. Measuring this variability then can be used as the standard candle in the inverse square law of light to establish distance. For distances measured in the hundreds of millions of light years, we use different standard candles. Supernova type 1A is considered to have a predictable peak luminosity and hence can be used as a standard candle that then once again can be used with the inverse square law of light to establish distance. 
also available at this distance is the Tully Fisher relation. This relies on the fact that more massive galaxies rotate faster. This can be measured via the Doppler method. The total mass of the galaxy is related to its total luminosity. This gives us yet another standard candle. The final step of the ladder is Hubble's law. Hubble's law states that the farther away a galaxy is, the greater its spectrum is redshifted. For galaxies billions of light years away, we can deduce their distance from this redshift.